Uh-oh. I hate it when people get large coffee. It's very dangerous. All right, good morning. We got Dunkin' Donuts, DoorDash, $9.50 going three and a half miles. Happy customer. All right, after dropping off that DoorDash, we got another one immediately. DoorDash is treating me right. $6.25 going 2.2 miles, picking up at McDonald's. Right, right after dropping off the DoorDash, now Uber Eats is treating us right. $6.50 going 2.2 miles, picking up at McDonald's again. She thinks my tractor's sexy. All right, I just accepted this Uber Eats shop and pay. I might cancel it. I'm not sure what's going to happen. So you have to shop for five items at CVS. It's all like stuff for your nails. And uh, it's it's $29 and something. And it says it's going 22 miles. But there's a CVS that is like right up the road. Which would... To, like I'm 10 miles away from the CVS it wants me to go to and then the customer is like right over here So if it'll let me shop at the CVS here, I'll do it if it won't I'm just gonna cancel it because it's too much driving All right, it let me shop at the other CVS and uh, Yeah, it They didn't have some of the it was all like fake nail stuff They didn't have some of the stuff and then what they suggested as replacements didn't really make sense so I got stuff that seemed to make sense, but I don't do my nails. I don't know nothing about doing nails, so I might be wrong. All right, dropped the Uber off. There wasn't no tip on that joint, which is kind of what I was hoping because, uh, you know, I had to replace some some nails and whatnot. I did some questionable replacements on that order, but uh, yeah, I had to drop it off on the military base. And right as I was getting finished shopping at CVS, I got this Instacart. We're playing Super Dirty Multi-App. This one's $49, only 23 items, one customer. I think it was five or six miles. So anyway, we gotta get off the military base, get back to Giant, and go shopping. All right, that was a killer start to the week right there we just did a hundred dollars i drove like 35 miles i mean i'm gonna drive five or ten miles back the way i want to go so whatever but i accepted my first order at a little after seven and it's 9 15 now so just over two hours hundred dollars i wish it could always go like that all right so we came back taking the dog out for a walk, made myself a coffee. And I think I'm gonna go for a nice hour bike ride. All right, I did my bike ride. I cut it a little short cause I got an Instacart right at the end. But I uh, still did like 13 miles in more than 50 minutes. So close to the hour I was trying to do. But anyway, we're shopping here at Food Line. It's 26 something. I think it was 25 or 26 items. I don't remember going three, four or five miles. I really don't know the details, but I'm the screenshots up there and I'm going shopping. Got both the Instacarts off. They were way closer than I thought. I was riding my bike when I accepted that order. But Instacart has been so glitchy recently. I don't know if it's just because it's so hot and my phone isn't working good or if they did an update and it's just terrible. Because there is just so many times where I get to the customer's house and the app is completely frozen. You refresh it, it's got a load. Then like when it, you're, it's time to take a picture, there's no button to click to take a picture. You have to reload the app. I, I, just, I, don't, I don't know what's going on, but it, it sucks. 
All right, I got another Instacart. It is 2773, going 8.8 .8 miles, 38 items, 60 units. There was another one I looked at that I didn't do because it was it was really low items. It was like 90 units. It's too crazy. This one, pretty high on the units, but we're gonna be over 150 after we do this one. So it's only new. All right, after dropping off the Instacart, I freaking went to McDonald's, got myself that $5 meal deal they got because I'm cheap and I'm hungry. And while I was sitting there, I got two amazing orders. First, this Uber Eats, I think it's like 13 bucks going like seven miles, but it's going right back towards my house from IHOP. And then somehow I got this order at the Food Lion, which is right near my house, right where I'm taking the Uber, $54 it is going 23 miles but it's taking me out to Annapolis so if I feel like it we can do more deliveries out there if not we'll just turn around and come home because who cares we're above $200 for the day so well not yet it hasn't happened yet but once I complete these orders above 200 for the day this don't be back. all right Uber swindled me a little bit with this order it's not just picking up IHOP. I gotta go to Outback Steakhouse too, but it's not, they're, they're close. So it's just a lot more U-turns and whatever. We're doing it. There you go. Have a good day. Thank you. Oh, I was just getting ready to bail on Outback because the pickup time said 2.08 and it is 1.45. And I was like, I can't, I got it. I got this door, Instacart I gotta go shop for. Anyway, let's see where this one drops off. All right, all right, first Uber dropped off. We got a happy customer. I'm grateful he met me outside because I'm rushing. All right, we got both the Ubers dropped off. If I would have saw that it was a double order, I probably would have just done the Instacart. But anyway, we're going real fast right now. Not really, we're, we're like right around the corner from Food Lion. And I don't remember if I went over the details, but it's $54. It's going 26 miles, but like I said, it goes to Annapolis. We can do more deliveries there um three customers but it was only like 26 items so let's go shopping after dropping off the second instacart man i had a happy accident actually i'm not too happy about it but it's my own damn fault so after i went to mcdonald's they gave me two barbecue sauces and i was like oh i'll stick one in my pocket and then i got a barbecue sauce i can use at home sometime and right after i dropped off the second instacart i got in the car and i was like man what smells so good like there's no cooked food in the car and then i was like oh no the barbecue sauce so my keys are covered in barbecue sauce my pocket is full of barbecue sauce my hands are all sticky i don't have any hand sanitizer Ugh. all right just picked up this doordash order freaking the sushi spot i don't know if it's sushi or hibachi they do both but there was nobody in there anyway it's 8 25 going three point something miles Let's go drop it off. All right, no drop off action for that DoorDash. It went to a dispensary. I was really confused about where it was going. Man, look at this freaking heat, dude. It's not really that hot, but it is hot. All right, y'all, we got a case of the Mondays going on here. I, I can't even believe it. I mean, I sat at home, I don't know, an hour or so. But I got another one, $47, only going one mile, 42 items, two customers, 
two customers within one mile. That's as good as it gets. It's starting to rain. Rain. Boom, box on top of bin for the win. All right, we got a wet shoe. No drop off action on the last one. It went from sprinkles to pouring real quick. Just looked at the total on that order. I lost like $8 in tip on that order. It's because the one customer ordered like five and 10 of everything. It's like buy whatever the store has left of this stuff. All right, it's Tuesday morning now y'all. I'm out walking the dog. Just accepted an Instacart. It's that giant, what was it? It's 30 bucks, going seven point something miles. I think it was 30 or 32 items, two customers. Freaking, I was just in this pond. I just saw a catfish and a turtle. So I was trying to film them, but I had my coffee in my hand and the dog leash. I spilled coffee all over a brand new white tee. Anyway, let's go home, change the shirt, go to giant, start shopping. Dude, it's a hundred degrees out and my man's wearing a trench coat. It's too hot to look cool. All right, that Instacart went pretty smooth until I got to the checkout because I uh, needed one of them huge things at Deer Park water, for like the water cooler. And I got in line and I learned my lesson. Don't get in line, go try to scan it before you get in line. You don't necessarily have to put it in the cart, but the reason I did that was because I thought, you know, I'll just tell them and then it's like, it's behind the cash register. Like you can walk right up to it. I don't know. Anyway, it, I went to go scan it and then there wasn't a barcode on the bottle. So then I had to do the thing where you take a picture and then there was another guy trying to get bottles. Anyway, I made the cashier have to wait for me and I hate that. I always try to be like, have everything set up so the cashier can just do their, you know, ring me up and that's it. Anyway, going to drop this order off. All right, got both the Instacarts dropped off. And right after that, I got this DoorDash. It's picking up an America's Best Wings. Not the best order, $5.25, going 2.3 miles, I think. Two of the miles we're getting to the restaurant. So this one literally drops off right around the corner from where I pick it up. Here we go. Oh. Nope. Straw to In the back, okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Got the DoorDash dropped off. That one was about as easy as it could be. All right, I got another Instacart. It's like 26 bucks, going four miles, two customers. I think it was 32 items. Pretty easy one. And anything to keep me from sitting in this car. It is way too hot. After dropping off the Instacart, I got close to getting back home, so I was at Food Lion, and uh, I got this uh, DoorDash Shop and Pay, 19 something, 1970 something, I think, and 28 items going 7.7 .7 miles. It's not really the best order, but you know, it's at Food Lion where I shop fast, so it'll be easy. We're gonna go get it done. All right, I knocked that DoorDash out. That was definitely not really uh, 28 items. I think DoorDash counts every, like when people get multiple of the same item, I think they count that as an item because it was not that much stuff. But uh, I don't know what's going on, but it seems like both DoorDash and Uber have become a little bit better of an opportunity. And really the only theory that I have is like, They've been so awful to everyone who works for them that people are just not turning the apps on. They don't, you know, they don't want to do it. So that means I, I see more of the good orders. I mean, it's not that much better, but back like, you know, when COVID and when COVID just ended in the heyday of DoorDash, when you could cherry pick like crazy, 
my acceptance rate would be between like 30 and 40 percent and now it's crept down to like i think 15 was like the lowest it ever was but now i'm back up to 30 so i mean i am taking more five dollar orders but it is a little bit better of an opportunity than it has been all right i got another instacart it's not really the best one but i like it it's at wegmans so i gotta drive like five miles to get to the wegmans <clears throat> and then it's shopping for two customers it's like 30 30 30 or 31 dollars and 8.5 miles but the second customer drops off like right next to my house so i like that it's 45 items so it's kind of a big order for 30 dollars but i'm trying to make 400 dollars monday and tuesday so this puts me closer to my goal and I don't want to work all night because I got a bike workout planned and uh, yeah, I need to be able to do that instead of keep working. All right, we're pulling up to the Wegmans. Oh, it's like a heat wave out here. All right, got both the Instacarts dropped off. For some reason, Instacart and Wegmans, they're always accusing you of doing something wrong. Like it, it sent me, it did this to both customers, said, asked if I checked out an item that was on the list that I scanned. Why do you do that? Anyway, we're at like $381, so 19 more dollars. I'm calling it quits. Let's grab myself Chipotle. And while I was standing in line, I got this order at Mod Pizza, which is right across from Chipotle, $7.75. It's going like four miles, but right back towards my house so I can eat my Chipotle. Dropped the DoorDash off, then they immediately sent me this one. Four dollars and twenty-five cents, one point seven miles. You gotta go shop for three items. Come on, man. You want me to go shopping for four dollars? Can't you can just barely buy anything for four dollars. And you think I'm gonna go shop for somebody for four dollars? Get out of here. Alright, I got one more Instacart. This is definitely the last one for this video. It's thirty-two dollars eighty-nine cents, five point four miles, forty-two items, two customers shopping at food line. Let's go shopping. So I just had the weirdest thing happen when I was dropping off the first Instacart. This car over like flew up behind me, started riding my ass, like right as I turned into the neighborhood. And then like I could see him like waving at me in my mirror. Cause I mean like this dude was up my ass. I don't know what he was doing. And then I pull up in front of the building and there's a DoorDash guy standing there with that Outback Steakhouse bag in his hand. And the guy runs up to him and is like, yeah, sorry, man, I ordered to the wrong address. So I guess he thought I was the DoorDash driver. I don't know, but weird. All right, drop both the Instacarts off. First customer tipped me $2.23. I'm not really a big fan of that. It's pretty naughty if you ask me. But anyway, a customer earlier today, the second order I did today, increased my tip by $5, so that's always good. So I think I'm at like $427 for Monday and Tuesday. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. If you have not, click on the shoe, subscribe to the channel. I think it's on this side. And then watch the suggested video. Leave me a comment. Tune in Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 p.m. for a new video. $1,000 goal for the week. Peace. Bambi flyby. Woo. Oh, snap. Cyber truck.